lovies, Missy here. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come on here very quickly because I have had some private messages come through on my Instagram and on my Facebook um, for people asking for prayer. They're going through some things. And then um, if you guys in the crafter community, we're kind of kind of tight. We're kind of a small community, so kind of everybody knows what's going on in the crafting community. You may have seen the video um, by Crafting from the Heart where she reached out and asked everyone to pray for her son-in-law, Timothy, who was in a very bad car accident. Even if you didn't see her video, maybe you saw the post by Sarah Robinson where she asked for prayer warriors to come into agreement that Timothy would be okay and that he would pull through and that he would begin to heal. Um, I am definitely praying for Timothy. I am believing with all that I am that Timothy is going to pull f through, that he is going to be healed from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, and that his healing is going to take, pass take place quickly. I'm praying that the peace that surpasses all understanding touches not only your life, but your daughter's life and your, your grandchildren's life, and that the right doctors are going to come in and they are going to know what they need to do for Timothy to um, bring healing to his body. I am believing all of those things. On top of that, I also got some, um, like I said, instant messages through my Instagram and my Facebook of others asking for prayer. I'm not going to go into any detail. Um, uh, Heart of Crafting, she made it very obvious what she needed. She reached out to you all publicly. These people reached out to me privately, so I'm not going to share any details. And I also just wanted to put out there very quickly because I noticed that some of those texts came in at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. One of them was like at 1 o'clock in the morning. We have to be aware that sometimes we're in different time zones. So I'm not ignoring you. Literally and truly, if they come in at like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm sleeping. <laughs> it's not that I'm ignoring you. And I answered all of them this morning as soon as I got up. And if I... If you ever text me something privately, like an instant message through my messenger on Facebook or my Instagram, and I don't get back to you right away, I will respond to you as soon as possible. I try very hard on a daily basis to respond to all of my comments on YouTube for the video that I uploaded the day before, all of my comments that come through on my Instagram, my private messages and things. I really do try to make a point to get back to you all as soon as possible because I really do value your friendship and I value that you reached out to me. That means a lot to me and if you hear weird cracking noises it's because my dog has to eat right below me. Does anybody else have a dog who does that? <laughs> Not to change the subject. I just want to put it out there that I will respond as soon as I can. I'm not ignoring you, really and truly. It is such a blessing, it's a gift that someone would reach out to you and ask for prayer or disclose something very personal that's happening in their life and ask for advice or prayer in that situation. I value that. You're not a burden and it's not that I'm ignoring you, it's just that I'm homeschooling and you know I have things going on in my own life or sometimes those things really do, they come through at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm not awake at those times. But I will get back to you as soon as possible. So now that we have addressed those few little things, I'm making this video today just simply because my heart is a little heavy. Um, People are out there, they're hurting, and they're going through serious things. And I just wanted to come on here very quickly and make a quick little video of encouragement just to say to anybody who's been a lovey of mine for any length of time, maybe you're just stumbling across um, this video in my channel for the very first time, whatever the case may be, I just want to come on here and say that somebody does care. I care. And if I could come through this camera, through YouTube world and give you a hug and tell you that things were going to be okay, I really and truly would. I can't do that. God didn't give me a means and a way to be able to talk to you face to face, to physically touch you and give you a hug, but he did give me the means of YouTube and I'm going to use it for that. I'm going to reach out with my voice and tell you that I care. I can give you a cyber hug. <laughs> cyber hug and tell you that things are going to be okay and I want to share a scripture with you all that 
has helped me through some very difficult times in my life. Again, if you've been with me for any length of time, um, I've told a story on here many, like once, and I've mentioned it but times before, that I lost my father very tragically, and we had I had to take him off life support and let him go. And then three years later after that, my, my husband had to do the very same thing with his mother. We've had tragic things happen in our lives, believe me. Places, things that took me to very dark places. And this one scripture so, so helped me. And I want to share that with you all today. Even if you're not a believer in God, just hear what God has to say in this scripture. Just have an open mind. And know that somebody out there cares for you. And if you'll allow it, someone even bigger than me loves you more than you'll ever know. And he cares for you as well. But the scripture that I want to share with you guys today is Psalms 34, 18. And it simply states, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. That scripture I have stood on for so long so long. I actually had t-shirts made of um, my father. Um, my father was an organ donor. So a year after he passed away, he was celebrated um, through CORE, is what it's called here in Pittsburgh. And um, we were invited to this big event. And for that event, I had t-shirts made and his face was on the front with his name and his date of birth and his date of death. And on the back was that scripture. I was walking into that building because not only that day was my dad being honored, but about 60 other organ donors were being honored that day as well. And all of their family was going to be there. And I wanted that scripture on my back because that scripture is what carried me through all of that. So it's so, 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 so close to my heart. And God ministered to me very deeply with that scripture because when he showed me that he's close to the brokenhearted, I mean, he's close, he's this close, he's this close to you because you were brokenhearted over a death or an incident or something that's going on in your life. Maybe somebody disappointed you. Maybe you feel abandoned. Maybe you feel so alone right now. It's so unbearable. Maybe somebody said something very hurtful to you. Maybe um, you were physically abused. Maybe something like um, Heart of Crafting is going through right now, kind of like a tragic accident um, where your life is kind of like turned upside down in a moment. Um, there's so many things that people are going through right now. I can sit here and list things to the cows come home. I think you understand what I'm meaning. In those things, you can become very brokenhearted. But God is saying to you, I am close to you. And in that, the Lord also showed me that he'll send people or things into your life to show you that he's close. Like he'll meet your need. You know, I noticed that sometimes there was days where I didn't want to talk to nobody and I kept everybody far away and I didn't want people in my life. I didn't want a physical touch kind of thing. But I would pull something up and I would watch a video or somebody would post something to Facebook and oh my gosh, it would just touch my heart. So I didn't need a person, but he spoke into my life through something else. And then there was days where I needed people and out of the blue people would text me or they showed up at my door with food and they would come in and they would hug me and they would comfort me. And I know that I know it was God who sent this, these people that I would never think of that hardly ever talked to me or that really didn't know who I was or we didn't have like a really close relationship and there they were there they were and they were loving and they were exactly what I needed in that moment and I know that was a gift from God he was close to me when I was brokenhearted and then there's those who are crushed in spirit you're just crushed by something somebody did to you or you've been let down or you're just like totally bewildered that this thing happened to you because this person told you they loved you and then they crushed you in the next moment whatever the case may be. He says he'll rescue you. And it's the same kind of thing. He will provide whatever it is that you need to be rescued out of those thoughts and those feelings. Because when you're crushed by people or a situation, you have awful thoughts. What did I do to deserve this? Why do people always treat me like this? 
why did he or she say they love me and then throw me off to the side like I'm a piece of garbage? Why is my life always like this? Why am I always alone? Why can't someone just love me? Whatever those thoughts are, God can rescue you from them. You don't have to think those things. Those are all lies from the enemy. You are valued, whether you know it or not. You are valued. And I just want to be a voice today. I may not be able to physically hold you or touch you, but I can be a voice that God can send in your way to tell you that you are valued. You are important. There is a purpose to your life. I don't know why these things are happening to you right in this moment. I don't even know your situation. But I know that if you were on this earth, you were created for a purpose, you have value, you are important, and you are worth it. You are worth it. And if you have surrounded your peop yourself with people who disvalue you, who devalue you, who make you feel worthless, just maybe, just maybe, they're not the kind of people that you should be surrounding yourself with. You should be surrounding yourself with people who value you for who you are, who will speak good things into your life. Hurting people always hurt other people. They may be hurting themselves, and that's why they're hurting you. Say that you need to distance yourself from them and surround yourself with people who will pour into you good things, who will encourage you. And in return, you can encourage them and tell them how valuable they are. But for today, if you don't have those kinds of people in your life, God has sent me to tell you that you are valuable, that you are important, that you are loved. You do have purpose on this planet. And that someone out there cares for you. Someone out there loves you. He loves you. He cares for you. I may not know you on a personal level, but I care for you. I care about your feelings. I care that if you've been crushed by someone, I care for you. I, I know what that feels like. I know that hurt. I know that pain. I can relate and I value, I val I validate you. It, it sucks. Let me just put it out there that way. It sucks to feel that way and it isn't right. And it's just hard, but you can get through this. There are better things ahead. Maybe you have to make some changes in your life. Maybe there's some people that you kind of need to keep your distance from if they keep crushing you. Sometimes we have to make changes in order for things to get better. But I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you in that today. If there's some changes that you have to make, you can do it. You can better your life. You do not have to stay stuck. And then if there's people out there like heart of crafting who's just something very unexpected something very big something very life-changing has happened to you God is close to the brokenhearted he sees your need he understands what you're going through he is there for you I am there for you I just want to encourage you today that you're not alone in your situation and I know that soon as this video is over and you're not going to hear my voice anymore those feelings of loneliness may creep back in and you may find yourself in a desperate place again. Replay the video. Go on YouTube and find some good music to listen to. Whatever it is to lift your spirit. Don't allow yourself to stay in that place where you feel overwhelmed with awful thoughts and that awful feeling of being all alone. And nobody wants you and nobody loves you. You may not know me. You may not have been a lovey in my, on my channel for some length of time. You may not know nothing about me. You may just be stumbling upon my channel. And it sounds really weird for me to say it. And you're like, really? I can say I care for you. I care about your situation. And there are means for you to reach me. You can leave me a comment down below. You can find me on my Facebook channel. You can IM me. You can leave me. You can tag me in something. Whatever the case may be, I just wanted to put it out there that somebody does care. 
Somebody does care. Somebody does understand that people really do go through some really hard things in their life and that it really does stink. It really does. It stinks. These hard moments, ugh. <laughs> we just want to get through them as quick as possible and I understand that. Just want to validate you. Lots and lots of people are going through hard things or have gone through hard things and understand those emotions and understand those feelings and someone who went through some things and is now kind of on the other side just want to validate you. Things will get better. You will smile again. You will laugh again. And if you trust in the Lord, allow him to heal your broken heart. Allow him to rescue out of your crushed spirit. Call out to him. Allow him to minister to you. And I pray for you that the peace that surpasses all understanding will rest on you. And you will be able to have peace in whatever situation that you may be going through. And just know, even though we're not face to face or maybe even know each other on a first name basis, somebody does care. I just want to be the Lord's voice today to whoever it may be needed for. He cares. I care. I just wanted to put that out today. I don't know why I just felt really led to just tell whomever, whomever's out there watching this video, you are worth it. You are somebody special. You are precious in God's eyes. And I really feel led to say, you are not forgotten. God has not forgotten you. And you can know it because he just told me to say that. So if you feel forgotten by God, he's letting you know right now you're not forgotten. I may be a complete stranger to you and he's telling you, he sent me to tell you, you are not forgotten. And if you haven't cried out to him for a very long time, he's waiting with open arms for you to call on his name. Guys, I hope that this video blesses you and I hope that whatever God was trying to get across to you really gets across to you. And I hope that healing in whatever situation that you're in begins today. Know that God loves you. I'm here for you. If you need prayer, leave me a comment and I'll lift your name up in prayer before the Lord. Whatever it is, God is here for you. He is close to the brokenhearted and he rescues those who are crushed in spirit. Have a good day, guys. Know God is with you and I'll be talking to you very soon. Until the next video, know that I love you.